Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Zenfunk's channel. Today we're going to be building the high grade cosmic era, the Strike Rogue. And this is like a very, it's not a new gunplay, it's five years ago. And this is basically a the same gunplay as the HGC uh, AO Strike Gundam, but it's just in different colors. And this time they rescale the whole thing. So I think it will look a, a bit more comfortable. And if you ask me, why don't you build the HGC? Uh, air strike. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm planning on buying the RG one, so that is why I don't buy the XG. Uh, that is why I don't buy the XGC one. But at the side here, we can see some actions, you know, stuff like that, and then we can see a little short introduction like that, and then, you know, we're just gonna take it out. We're just gonna take out everything first. Right now, let's take a look at the instruction manual first. So once we open it, we can see that. Uh, the introduction that says uh, it came along with the dagger and then there's a specific symbol for the uh, for the pilot cavalry and then we also got the weapon introduction and then you know if if you watch my another review that's about the uh tall tall strike them glitter i think that's called and then now we look at the Menus here, and then you know, just quickly flick through it. And then now we look at the details, the rear view, and the actions right here. So we got a color guy at the bottom, and then the introduction at the at like at the middle of the menu. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then now let's take a look at the runners first. So, first one, we got a B1 runner. So, this is the shield, the backpack, thruster wings, uh, the head, and the feet. This is going to be a N runner. So, it is a shoulder, a dagger, the the rival and I believe this is the shield handle. A B2 runner with the feet, the waist part and the head. A M2 runner with the sh sh with uh, inside the shield. A G runner for the torso and the I believe is the front waist, the, the little red part on the front waist. And then the M1 runner for the thruster and for the inner shield. The A part for the, uh, for the armor for the waist part, uh, legs part, arms part, feet, head, uh, side skirt, backpack as well. So this is basically every bits of you know a slightly pinky color of the strike roll. This is going to be a C runner. Mainly is the inner joint of the gunplay. We can see some legs part here, and then we can see some knees joint here. The hands option here as well. This is the last run. This is the old runner, mainly focused on the backpack and the shield. And yeah, that's pretty much it because uh, all of the part from the old runners is the thrusters, except for this part is for the shield. And then as you saw, poly caps and the beam saber, a very large number of stickers, but mostly I believe is using on the backpack wings. And then now for the lastly, we have a small label here small uh, symbol for you to put it onto the gobbler and that's pretty much it and yeah it's pretty much the introduction how about we go to the how about we go to the building process and i will see you guys at the review
Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the strike row and this is the finishing of it. Um, before I start the video, I want to, you know, uh, ask you guys a question. Do you like the strike rose color or you like the original air strike color? The original air strike color is blue, red and white. And this one is pink, red and, you know, light pink. So leave a comment down below and tell me which color version did you like because, um, in my opinion, I like the Strike Row color better because I look at the L Strike too much and I actually start to feel a little bit exhausting to look at the L Strike colors. But anyway, this is not the this is not the topic today. Um I must say though, um this revived version of the Strike Row is doing a very good job. It rescaled and then you know uh improved articulation and I absolutely love that they the fact that they give you the signature symbol on the shoulders. And I really like it. So there's, uh, the, you know, the there's some part that uses the old mold. They uses the old mold for the gray part, but not a big deal. It's very easy to sand and it's pretty good as well. Uh, but most of the joint uh, is improved. So the articulation is pretty good. And unfortunately, this gunpla don't have any option hands. So the only hands that you can get is the one that it's, it is on the gunpla right now is this kind of, you know, holding the weapon holding hand. And that's pretty much it. But first, we're going to look at the articulation. I pretty, I pretty like this new head design because, you know, the old one, it seems like a little bit off scale. And this one is pretty comfortable. I personally think it is designed very well. And the color separation, I absolutely love it. The eyes, the camera at the, at the forehead and the back is by stickers. Uh, it's pretty easy to equip. It's a ball joint on the neck, so it can move up, down and move. 360 when the backpack when and you can move around 360 when the backpack is not equipped later during later if we equip, equip the backpack um, a lot of articulation will be interrupted obviously the hands can be twist it can be and it is a ball joint so pretty easy to fall please be careful with it it can bend all the way up back to the shoulders it can move 360 to rotate and it can lift up nine degrees and it can also move forward as well the chest is pretty simple just three layers sticking together and then there you go uh, unfortunately it, it cannot move front to back but it can move 360 when the backpack is not equipped once the backpack is equipped the maximum you can move is 90 degrees uh, the front skirt is uh, can be flipped uh, it's a whole piece it's not an individual piece like the Robo Damaji or those new XGs it is a whole piece and then the side skirt can lift up not really much but once you but once you over move it it will pop out the side skirt can move front to back and about 180 degrees around and the color separation on this is doing a pretty beautiful job. No sticker required. At the back here, at the back here, this whole thing is a fixed piece, so you cannot move. The black part on the waist, uh, I paint, I just color it with the gunner marker. You can do it as well. It's pretty cheap, and then you can just, you know, quickly color it and then add the add the details on it. The legs, the legs can move about 130 to 140 and then now uh, the feet is an individual joint so it can move up and down and it is a ball joint so it is side to side but be careful the piece of armor is actually having the same problem like most of the most of the gamba is is a ball joint and it's pretty easy to fail out so be careful when you move the part here the whole leg is able to now see this is the problem that i said if you over move the side skirt it will fall off so the whole leg can move side 90 degrees can kick to the front over 90 degrees kick to the back nothing and there's a small joint here that you can fix the position between the legs you can move side to side like this so it can fix you can choose the position where you, you want the legs to be now looking at the backpack is pretty it's, it's doing a pretty good job and you know the the bottom thrusters they can move side to side up and down very freely as well and then at the top here only the wings is movable the the wings can be moving moving and then you know you can going back to the 
standby mode. This is the standby mode of the air strike pack and you can move it back up and going to be tactical mode. The beam saber is stored at the side of the backpack. It is a ball joint but it's pretty pretty solid ball joint and is actually quite stable. Uh, I, pretty li I pretty like that. The good thing is they did give you the little color separation at the front of the backpack. As you can see these two red pieces here is not stickers. It's actually the is actually a separate piece that put on a uh, very nice job about that. Uh, but the problem is just the wing, the red part of the wings. Just, if you watch my, uh, I, I believe it was the P Bandai review of the Air Strike variation. I don't remember what they call It's from the Build Fighter series. I don't remember what they call Talk Strike Gundam Glitter, I think. Um, it is, it got the same problem. The red part of the wings is a sticker and it's actually quite easy to, 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 to be crumbled and I my recommendation is you got the red paint you just use some tape and you know uh, paint it yourself because I don't like this sticker the stickers one I play with the wings you know a couple times and they start to look a bit crumped up so my recommendation is just paint it yourself and put it on the MS is pretty simple there's a joint at the at the back and you basically just snap it in there you go let's put it on now Right, now we're gonna move up to the accessory part. So first one, we got the beam rival. The beam rival have absolutely no color separation. If you really want to add some details, I recommend you to paint the scope green or, you know, something color, some other colors. This, for the handle of the beam rival is movable, so it's, so you can hold it on both hands and it's actually pretty easy to equip. You just rip the arm, hand piece armor off and then you put on the beam rival, done. And then the second one, we have the shield. The shield is re is remaked and there's some details at the back. So please make sure you have to pen align it. And then we flip it back to the front. Uh, it is a it is a pretty good job color separation, except this part right here. The pinky part here is a sticker. Uh, please watch it carefully because you have to be very perfect. To, if you don't want to be crumbed up, you have to put it very perfectly. And there's a back here, there's the there's a joint here at the back. You can snap it on to the forearm joint. It's pretty simple. You just push in and it will stay there. And it's actually quite good. And then it, the shield obviously can be turned like this. And then next up, we have two beam saber effect parts. It's pretty simple. As I said, the beam saber is on the backpack. You rip them off, put them on. It's pretty simple. And the last part is the daggers. The daggers is a... Pretty funny thing. So the daggers came with gray, but I do realize I have a silver paint and I tape it up and, you know, give it a little spray. And now I'm pretty happy about finishing looking at this. So the daggers is not really, you know, anything different. You can store it anywhere else. This is not a RG. The side skirt can't be open because in the setting, it was supposed to be storing at the side skirt. But unfortunately, this is an XG. So you got nowhere else to store. You can just put it in your box or something like that. And but my recommendation is if you have silver paints, just paint it because I feel like the dagger looks very. It it looks like very bad during like the whole gray thing. So paint it a little silver and it will look way better. So this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. There's honestly not much to talk about on this gamble because, first. Uh, we already seen a lot of Strike Rogue and Aero Strike design. There's not much to talk about. The only difference is between the RG and the XG is uh, there's more detail, there's decals, and there's you know silver silver stickers in the thrusters, and that's pretty much it. And the XG version though, it does it didn't give you much, but it definitely is better than the old version. The scale now looks a little bit more comfortable and is actually in the slim position, so now it looks pretty good, I would say. Uh, accessory though, you if you watch the anime, the arrow strike is not that exciting. It's just beam rivals, beam sabers, shield, done. Like the dagger, the most famous part of the dagger is not even used on the strike row. It's on the arrow strike. Uh, it's when um, Kira stabbed uh, Izaku, and then or when he you know pulled out the dagger when he's. Mobile suit ran out of power and it stabbed, uh, stabbed the Lago, the, 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 the MS on in the desert. I think I don't quite remember. I might need to, you know, rewatch it again. I don't quite remember the drama thing. But anyway, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in another Gunpro review. Goodbye.